This instructional video is intended to help you calibrate your Great Plains Native Grass Series 2 1006NT drill. Calibrating the seeding rate requires four steps. The first is selecting one of four drive types. Step two is setting the seed rate handle. Step three is positioning the feed cup door. And the final step, step four, is checking the seed rate. The first step is to select your drive type. The gearbox is designed to give you a variety of drive speeds for different types of seeds and rates. The gearbox brass indicator plate is positioned so the side with one is closest to the center of the drill. To set the gearbox, move the selector handle until the desired drive type appears in the window on the handle. Drive type 1 is always used for native seed drilling. This table shows an example of the different gearbox ratios for your reference. Step 2 is to set the seed rate handle. Loosen the wing nut under the handle and then set the indicator to just pass the value from the seed rate chart. From experience, most native grass plantings plant about 8 pounds an acre. So a good starting point, rather than looking at the number on the handle, is to look at this flute indicated by the white arrow. You'll want about an inch and a half of exposed flute, so move the handle accordingly. Then tighten the wing nut back up. Now we need to position the seed cup doors. At each seed box seed tube, adjust the seed cup door handle for the seed size. The handle has three normal operating positions. One is for the smallest seeds. You can use this for wheat and similar small seeds. Two is for larger seeds. It can be used for soybeans and similar larger seeds. For native seed drilling, you will use number one or two. Three is for oversized or fragile seeds. If you experience excessive cracking with setting number two, use setting number three. The handle position number five is used for clean out, not planting. If set to five with seed loaded, it may be difficult to reset it to a normal operating position. The final step involves checking the seed rate. To calibrate, use either the left hand gauge wheel or the supplied calibration crank. If you're using the calibration crank, attach the crank to the coupler on the gauge wheel jack shaft with the retaining pin, and then disengage the lockout on the drive wheel. Rotate left hand gauge wheel or calibration crank to see that feed cups and drive are working properly and are free from foreign matter. To adjust the seating rate, decide which drive type or gearbox setting you need from the seating charts beginning on page 4. Set the gearbox and rotate the drive tire or calibration crank a few turns to confirm gearbox has engaged. Record the weight of an empty container large enough to hold seed metered for one acre. Place several pounds of seed over three seed cups on an outside end of the drill. Remove the three seed tubes located under the area where you filled the seed box. Turn the drive gauge wheel or calibration crank several times to fill seed cups up with seed. Then turn the wheel or crank until seed falls to the ground from each cup. Rotate the drive gauge wheel or calibration crank per the following guide. We'll divide 411 by 10 so we don't have to do as many cranks. Later we'll build that back into the formula for pounds per acre. Check that the three seed cups have plenty of seed coming into them. Then weigh the metered seed. Subtract the initial weight of the container and divide by three. Multiply by the number of openers on your drill to determine the total pounds seeded per acre. As you remember, earlier we took the total number of cranks and divided by 10. Now we'll take the total pounds per acre and multiply it by 10. If this figure is different than desired, Set your seed rate adjustment handle accordingly. You may want to repeat the calibration procedure if your results vary greatly from the seed rate chart. When drilling, check the seeding rate by noting the acres drilled, the amount of seed added to the drill, and the seed level in the drill box. If you are seeding more or less than desired, adjust the seeding rate slightly to compensate for field conditions.